yeah, a lot of the characters yeah. do get quite a decent amount of like they flesh out each character pretty well. Like, imagine like yeah. this movie very much could have just been made, and it's like, oh, there's just all these generic bad guys in right. his way. These could have just been obstacles, but exactly. it's really nice that they. <clears throat> and obviously, it's because it's ada- it's an adaptation of a previous source material. Right? I was not aware of that whatsoever until later on. It was based off of the book, also titled Bullet Train, set in Japan. <laughs> Welcome back to the Real Talk Podcast. In today's Bye-bye. video, what is it? We're going to be talking about Bullet, Bullet, Bullet Train. <laughs> you better I'm, call Bullet Train my son. I'm cool. I'm cool. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shut up. I'm cool. Oh, you're cool? Yeah. You're like, Bullet, Bullet. <laughs> uh, it's me, Josh. <laughs> bullet, Bullet, Bullet. <laughs> okay. We're talking about Bullet Train. Bullet Train. Bullet Train. Fucking A, man. Fucking a good movie for us. Good once. fucking What movie. is it about season three? We're okay. almost done. Yes, we and are. Season three, like we agreed we'd do good movies, and then we just, just what fucking forgot about well, that. Well, Josh, season three was like a game of darts. Sometimes we hit bullseye, and sometimes we were not even close. So what would you say <laughs> Bullet Train? Where would Bullet Train fall on that uh It analogy? was a fun action movie that was refreshing. No, you set up a metaphor about a dart board, and I said, <laughs> where does it? <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> okay. It was not a bullseye, but it was definitely close to it. Yeah. At times. <clears throat> um, sorry, I, I completely lost track. I thought you were. My brain is mush. It's because of the bullet. <laughs> bullet, bullet. <laughs> Shut a bullet in my brain. Carabana was like two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> the Caribbean in me. The Caribbean. Okay. Jump and wave. Yes. Yes. So bullet train. Bullet train. It was a damn fine movie and it a truly breath was of fresh, fresh air. air. I feel like. I, I don't know, like, the the phrase a breath of fresh air seems like such a fancy word to say, so I always, yeah. I feel like I need to be, like, the critical drinker when I say that. Oh, like, with the accent yeah. and everything? But what a train was... a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going into my hut. Or Go away now. Go away now. No, it was a fucking breath of fresh air. Can especially I? Especially considering yeah. our, if you, if the viewers have been paying attention for this season. Yeah. The films we've been watching this season have been hit or miss. Hit or miss, in all fairness, yeah. And I'd say this was a solid hit. And I, I you know, one thing I, I will say is my expectations for this film. I saw the trailer. The trailer looked fun. Mm-hmm. Had an all-star cast. Pretty yeah. well done. The but director. The director who, who also did Atomic Blonde and Deadpool 2. You're forgetting a big franchise. Uh, Fast and Furious. No. Hobbs and Shaw. What am I missing? What am I missing, Dude, Josh? we did a fucking video on it. Did we do a video on it? John Wick. Oh, my God. He did John Wick? No, Have you he ever? Did. There's he this didn't thing called, direct it. I thought he didn't. No, he didn't direct John Wick. Directorial. Hang on. I had no. It, I it was it. the Chad guy. It was the other stunt performer turned director. This is um, a different stunt performer turned director. Excuse me. Um, actually, actually, is a Jap, uh, is a film directed well, by but, David. How do you pronounce his name? David Leach. David Leach. Yeah. David Leach is an American filmmaker, actor, yep. suffer, blah, 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 yeah, who yeah. made his directorial debut on the 2014 action film John Wick with Chad. Last name. Oh, so it was both though, of them. Though only Stileski okay. was credited. My brother in Christ, so I'm right. I'm <laughs> I got you. I this got is like you. arguing with done. my woman. Oh, oh. <laughs> Therefore, I am right. And uh, okay. have you seen the stand-up sketch where it's like, Carrie's right, Josh is right, which means Carrie's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look cute. I don't. I don't Fuck, like this bit. Actually, speaking, I don't of like Wake, this bit. I gotta show you guys something. I don't like this bit. I really gotta show you guys something. I, I'm sorry for doing this on the podcast. I know we're off topic, oh, but no. I came across this old picture I, I took back in first year. Oh no! Where my friend gave me her weave. No. <laughs> and I put it on, and I was like, "Yo, I look so pretty. <laughs> Yo, I feel pretty." <laughs> Josh, you know what? Yo, come on. Hey, you know what? For anybody who's hating, anybody hating. who's hating. I ain't hating. The, get you a man who can do both. It's progress picks. <laughs> I'm big. See, that that's a good pick. But Josh, she bring back the weave for the next episode. I mean, I looked at it and I was like, God damn, I had a good hairline. <laughs> 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 Just Fucking once upon a time ago. But like, anyways, anyways, David Leach directed uh, d- uh, the John Wick franchise. He did. That's what yes. happens when you go Wikipedia stuff on the way to the place. Now, can I say another Sorry. thing? Yeah. Um, the posters for Bullet Train are fucking hilarious for one reason and one reason only. Do you yeah. know what it is? No. It is Brad Pitt's face in all of them. <laughs> now, uh, could you could you pull could you could you hold on to my phone? Okay. And then show it to camera. 
Okay, Chris, let me know if it's a. Uh, is this, is this visible? Yeah. So that's Brad Pitt in every single poster of Bullet Train. It is the funniest face he has ever made because he looks confused and <laughs> constipated at the same time. Uh, you know what? I, I feel like, like this Whoa. is the face Christian makes when people cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> this is like. The guy, you're like standing on the other side of the room and somebody took the last donut and you're yeah. just like, yo, what the fuck, dog? <laughs> and honestly, that phrase, what the fuck, dog, kind of summarizes his character in this movie, I think. Truly. he was Not like, really, but I just want no, to. No, but like Brad Pitt's character in this, he's kind of like the, the wanderer. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, right, I'm interacting with all these characters. How am I alive? I don't know. The wanderer, but, really? What? Oh, just because we were singing Frank Sinatra before you started. So I was like. Oh, yeah. Oh, Frank <laughs> I'm Sinatra. the top man. We're on the bullet train. Yeah. Okay. We got up to some shenanigans. Oh. We're, we're a bit quirky. We're a bit quirky. Oh, God. But it's all good. Okay, so start, uh, talk about the movie. Let's you talk wanna, about the movie. Do you want to talk about what the fucking plot of this movie was? I feel like you always do that, so I was like, let's just keep it going. Sure. So bullet train. Spoiler alert. Play. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert Spoiler for all alert. you bullet train fans. So, Bullet Train is about Brad Pitt plays a character named Ladybug, codenamed Ladybug, and he's supposed to retrieve a suitcase and get off the train. That's all it is. But there are a ton of characters who also want the briefcase, who yeah. also have relations towards that briefcase, and everyone has their own story. So, there's mm -hmm. like the two gangsters, Tangerine and um, – what was he? Lemon. Yeah. Lemon and Tangerine. Lemon. Those two guys. Then it was like the little girl – as like an assassin yep. or something. They got the poison lady. They got um, the, the 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 Mexican dude seeking his revenge for the death of his wife. Mm -hmm. Then they got the Russian guy. Then they have uh, the father uh, seeking revenge for his sons uh, uh, because I think he got pushed off a cliff. Yeah, a lot of the characters yeah. do get quite a decent amount of like they flesh out each character pretty well. Like imagine like yeah. this movie very much could have just been made and it's like oh there's just all these generic bad guys in right. his way. These could have just been obstacles, but exactly. it's really nice that they <clears> – and obviously it's because it's it's an adaptation of a previous source material. Right? I was not aware of that whatsoever until later on. It was based off of the book, also titled Bullet Train, set in Japan. Yeah, I think it was a manga, <clears throat> wasn't I, it? I was not aware of that. The Japanese novel. Okay, maybe it was or wasn't. Hang on. But uh, well, well, no, it's, just an, it's a novel. Oh, it's a novel? Okay. It's a novel. But regardless, um, the premise itself is really cool, really neat. Mm -hmm. I loved all the performances. Sure, some performances, I felt like... Some were stronger than others. Yes, definitely. I, <laughs> I, I felt like um, the, the ones that didn't have that much was like, um, what was her name? Zazie... Zazie Beats? Zazie Beats. She's in it for like two minutes. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, man, I would have wanted... Fantastic. I know, I would have wanted to see more of her, but then she just kind of dies. And it was kind of like a gag. Yeah. Where Brad Pitt's like, you got an extra serum, right? And it's like, you did it? Well, that's really stupid of you. Like, that's Brad Pitt for most of the film. He's just like, what the heck is going on? I'm on the phone. I'm doing my karate. But, like, how am I still alive? I just want to get off this train. That's literally yeah. Brad Pitt. And the entirety of the movie is set on the train. Yes. Hence the name, Bullet Train. <laughs> yes. You know what the funny part about that is? That is, 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 is Josh said that. This is his third time saying that fucking joke. They don't say that joke in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course not. What is it, set in Toronto? Well, they could the have got – okay, with the amount of the people in subway. this movie, they could have got some Toronto guy. It's just the Toronto version, the man from Toronto uh, sequel, fucking streetcar. Streetcar. What they is a uh, <laughs> TTC? TTC. Chani Tatum was uh, – Chani Tatum was in it. Could have been uh, the Toronto guy. But, yeah, they had some cameos, so Chani Tatum was in it. Aaron um, Taylor Johnson. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Michael Shannon, my fucking guy. Holy shit. Can we talk about Michael Shannon for a second? Of course. I feel like we don't because he hasn't been in a movie that we've talked about on the podcast yet. I fucking love Michael Shannon. Did we talk about Knives Out? Nope. We didn't talk about We briefly out. talked about it, but Did not we enough. Mention, I feel like we might have mentioned Man of Steel when we were talking about Zack Snyder. Probably, but only Why haven't movie. we done an episode on Zack Snyder? <sighs> Season 4 ideas. Because Hello. I know it will be. It will be an idea that will become reality. But yeah. about Michael <clears throat> Shannon. I fucking love the guy. Every movie he's in, even if it's a terrible movie, he's great in it. His introduction as the white devil yeah. is fucking awesome. <laughs> He's got like a he's got like a gray wig. I, yeah. and he's just looking down, and he's like, "I am the White Devil." I like how even to introduce the character, you had to do the Russian accent too. <laughs> it's like you're not doing an accent for his voice; you're doing an accent because it's fucking awesome. He's like, "I have this sword yeah. that has killed everything," and I'm like, "I fucking it is so comically evil." Mm -hmm. That is just my favorite part when he's like talking to his daughter. Yeah. Just like my bastard son. <laughs> like, 
I also feel like Michael Shannon has just slept on generally. Well, yeah, I feel like he's um, a great actor. He's been in a, so many great so movies, many, and he's. He, I feel like in every movie he's in, I haven't seen a movie he's been in that he, where he's not. It doesn't feel like he's giving it his all. Yeah, like I know this is going to sound like a sin to you, but right. I'm not the biggest fan of Man of Steel. Yeah, that's fine. But I recently uh, watched it again because yeah. I was I watched Man of Steel and then I watched Batman versus Superman a few nights ago. Okay. Uh, Ultimate Edition. Okay, and awesome. I was like, "Holy fuck!" You know, like Michael Shannon's really just carrying this movie. He's just so over the top and crazy, yeah. and I love that. He's got so much energy and shit, yeah. and it's great. He gives like, off General Zod vibes. Yeah, and then Knives Out. He plays a lot more of a quieter character, yeah. but with that burst of anger in that scene. Mm-hmm. Um, Nocturnal Animals. He's great. Oh my god! Um, yeah, I remember Premium Rush. He was fantastic. Yeah, he was probably the only good thing about that movie, in my opinion. He, he was also in. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this. He was in Kangaroo Jack as one of the mobsters. And you know what? He put his all. Leave it to Nevis <laughs> to bring up some shit like this. <laughs> Kangaroo Jack. Michael Shannon as was, a mobster. Uh, was what's his name in this movie? Who's the star of the movie? Brad Pitt. Kangaroo Jack? Fuck off. What are you talking who's about? The main a- who's the, who's the, the main actor in Kangaroo Jack? Yeah. Uh, fucking Anthony Anderson. Oh, I would have assumed fucking Brendan Fraser, <laughs> considering it's. Oh no! Like Although that is a very <laughs> Brendan Fraser film. Yeah, but, but uh, back to back Bullet to Train. Bullet Train. Bullet. What was your favorite uh, actor in this movie? Because there was a shit ton. Well, I feel like I've already mentioned it. I just love Michael Shannon. Michael Shannon is great. I just really think he's a great actor. I love seeing him. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of Brad Pitt. That's the thing. Really? Like, no, don't get me wrong. I think he's a great actor. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Yeah. You know, he's fantastic. Uh, what's that movie called? Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mr. and Mrs. Mir- Smith. His best performance. Definitely Deadpool 2. <laughs> That's a good one. But, also um, directed by David Leach. That's um, why which, I mentioned it. Yeah. Wink, wink. I think my favorite performance from Brad Pitt is uh, probably Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button. Really love that's that one. That's true. That's true. That's a great It's performance. a very emotional film. Yeah. He, he takes it. He puts in it as all. Um, but there are some movies in his catalog that are very like, yeah, it's me, Brad Pitt. I'm doing this for the paycheck. Like, w- World War Z. Oh, and I was worried Bullet Train was going to be in that category. Yeah, I was honestly, so worried. And luckily, it I was, doesn't feel like that. I was so happy when I saw like the film uh, review in, uh, pages I follow. I was so glad when I saw that this film got, like on a majority of them, had at least this movie got at least three stars. Yeah, I, I I looked at Tomatoes, Rotten Tomatoes, and Metacritic. Those are the ones where it was like fifty percent, forty percent, and can I'm you, like, can you really trust them? Uh, I don't know. I'm just looking at like uh, the overall like majority of people's yeah. average, and it was like very mixed. But I'm at I'm looking at audiences scores <laughs> too, and they're like, no, it was enjoyable. Yeah, it was a fun time, and yeah, it I, was. I I laughed a couple. I I laughed a few times. I will admit this was like there were some jokes in it that I was like. I fucking loved uh, what was his name? Lemon. Le- yeah, yeah. Lemon's great. He he went full Thomas the Tank Engine analogy, and I thought that was hilarious. This motherfucker, this motherfucker's <laughs> like you're a diesel. Was my childhood. You're a fucking diesel. <laughs> it's just just like what? I'm a diesel. <laughs> I don't know why. This is so random. But the other day I woke up and I just started watching Thomas and the Tank Thomas the Tank Engine calling all friends <laughs> on YouTube. And I got like 30 minutes in. I was like, wait, is this an analogy for racism? <laughs> Steamies and diesels, Whoa. is that a slur? Damn. Well, they didn't go that far with the bullet train movie, but I liked what how he did it. Yeah. It's like, you're very conniving, mm-hmm. so you're this character. Yeah. I'm going to put a sticker on your face. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, that is like, you ever watch any like, it, it reminded me of like a Guy Ritchie Tarantino mashup of like that type of dialogue. Yeah, yeah. And some people, when they try to recreate it, it fucking sucks. <laughs> Let's think about a, a movie where they try to do that. Hmm. Oh, they do it a lot. Yeah. Um, I think a movie that tried to do that, which fucking failed, was um. One, two, three, <laughs> three four. Whoa, for the longest time, I'm completely blank. But a lot of there's no are... camera there, guy. <laughs> Yo, what? I thought. <laughs> oh my god! He did it again! I did it again! How long has it been? Yo, I'm like I'm like Brad Pitt's face, man. <laughs> In the poster, he's like, "What? Where am I?" <laughs> yeah. Um, what What movie would you say tried to do that? Tarantino, uh, Richie Mash. I feel like Michael Bay tried with the Transformers movies really? with like the improv dialogue, where but, it's just like, "Oh, I'm in charge." No, I'm in charge. It's just like it, you fucking suck at writing, so no, that yeah. doesn't work. But I just like the cars. I just like the cars. No. Uh, what would you say, like? I fucking what David Leach is so great at coordinating 
um, fights. Fights. Yes. Yeah. Ever since, as, like, the moment I saw John Wick, I was like, this is, like, a good action movie. Yeah. And the thing is, I feel like there just haven't been a lot of good action films in the last decade. I think the most genius thing Hollywood has done is allow these stunt performers to direct. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. How do we make good action movies? Like, just listen to the guys that oh, do wait, it. <laughs> wait a minute. Stunt performers. Do you have any ideas? And they're like, yeah, we got like 50. Yeah, what the fuck is this? It's only what I do for a living. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I know. Because <laughs> the David Leach guy, I think <clears throat> the Chad guy um, was Keanu Reeves' – I know. The, he was Keanu Reeves' uh, stunt – double for the Matrix Matrix. movies and David Leach was a stunt performer I think he started with like Van Damme films in the early 2000s yeah yeah he looks like an older dude yeah he's a he's an older guy he started in his 20s and then I think once he got the hang of it he was just like oh he worked with Chad uh Kaczynski or whatever his name is on John Wick yeah which allowed him to direct films like Atomic Blonde Deadpool 2 and now yeah I didn't actually watch Atomic Blonde how was that neither did I I really want to see it because it looks really cool too and I mean after seeing this and then obviously I've seen the John Wick movies I I think I should give it a chance Atomic Blonde I I heard it I don't know why I didn't watch it honestly I think it was just like what it came out like 2017 ish 2018 yeah it was like in between the John Wick movies yeah so maybe that's why because I wasn't really watching it I wasn't really keeping up to date with movies back then but fair enough yeah um but with no, Bullet, Bullet Train. Train was just a solid action movie. Like the action yeah. was on point. Yeah, and it didn't like put so much folk emphasis on the action that it took away from the story. Not that the story is anything groundbreaking. No, or it, I think the one issue I would have for this film is, although I do love the character moments and the dialogue, the story kind of doesn't make that much sense. Yeah, not really. <laughs> and it's also pretty like. It's not that original, in my opinion. No, neither I mean, is it might have been groundbreaking when the novel came out. I don't know what... The, the novel, novel came <laughs> out probably years ago. Yeah but, yeah, but, I mean, for a movie to come out in 2022 and use this... Um, this concept. Concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel like they're breaking any ground, but that's really not the point of this movie, I feel. I feel like this no. movie was just, let's make a fun action movie that yeah. is not shit. Yeah. Because, like... I'll be honest. Like I tried rewatching Dark Transformers: Dark of the Moon the other day because I love ro- giant robots fighting. That's a long one. And I was like loving it. I was watching it from the start, and I was like, "Yeah, fucking yeah. Transformers!" And then fucking what's his name? Jason Statham's wife's ass shows up on the screen, and I'm like, "I don't care about these characters." Yeah. It's like I feel like in the same way the Transformers movies put so much money into the fucking action and the CGI yeah. that it takes away from like. Like, what is there to care about when the, the action's not on screen? Well, yeah. A lot of action movies put so much time and effort into fights that the, the plot doesn't really... Well, I, think, doesn't really I think the difference is, like, with Michael Bay and Dark of the Moon and Bullet Train is... Well, Dark of the Moon, the fucking movie's three hours long, and you don't have any character moments. Yeah. So when the action's not there, you can, you're can you fucking bored. Oh, with yeah. Bullet Train, <clears throat> they do something clever with... Uh, an example would be Tangerine and Lemon, where mm-hmm. it's just like... Didn't we kill 16 or 17? And then that whole montage of them killing all those people. It's action, comedy, beautiful. <laughs> it's just like, no, it's 17. <laughs> and then it's the guy, <laughs> right? He's like, he's just checking to see if they were all right. And then he fucking blows up. <laughs> oh, man. I love that. He's like, shit, yeah, that was 17. So, God, they need to make more movies like this. It was just fun. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> how I would describe this movie. I just yeah. came out of the theater and I was like, that was fun. Right? This was a fun time. Yeah. Like, I really enjoyed myself in the theater this time. Like, and differently than, like, when I watched, like, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yeah. Or even, like, a movie that, like, I did like. Like, even when I came out of Avengers Infinity War. Yeah. Like, I didn't come out of those movies like, wow, that was fun. Mm-hmm. I didn't really have that much fun watching those movies. But I came out of this movie like, that was a good time. Yeah. You, Chris, you said you, uh, did you watch this or no? No, no but no? you should watch it. It's a good time. Yeah. Speaking of those, <laughs> speaking of those films, especially like Avengers <clears throat> and like the bigger blockbusters, I think like when I was watching the scene where Brad Pitt is in like the bullet train and it crashes and mm. he's just like flying all over the place and he's just like, yeah, what yeah. the, I, it's, part of me was just thinking in my head, it's like, this is kind of like a nice visual analogy of like Brad Pitt representing the old fashioned stars and like the explosions and CGI surrounding him represents the current event of blockbusters. Oh, <laughs> just put an explosion in. Literally. It's just like he's, and he has to experience it because he's in that world now. So he's just so <laughs> confused and old. So he's like, what the fuck? How am I alive? Hey man, he may be old, but he looks good. The man looks younger he than looked, me. He looks fucking great. Brad Pitt is going to be 60 and the man looks, looks younger than, than the us. The man, man looks like he just turned 40. No cap. <laughs> no cap. Bro, stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> this guy looks fucking... Man, anyway, let's... Yeah. I'm not trying to thirst over 
No, we There's already no kind of thirsted saying. over some stars in the Gray Man review because that film sucks. So we can cover more ground on Bullet Train for mm-hmm. other things. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought. Oh God, was... I forgot we reviewed <laughs> the Gray Man. But yeah, the Gray Man sucked. That's how boring it was. Yeah, I completely but... forgot we did an episode on that. Yeah. Um, it was it, not great. It wasn't great. Last pun for that film. Yeah. Lemon and Tangerine. The emotional moments, I thought, were nice. They were very nice. They were like fucking a man. I, I, I they didn't have to go emotional. They did. But they no. did, and it didn't like fall flat on its face. Like a lot of movies yes. would try to have their emotional scenes, and it's like, yeah, fuck, like that's so forced. Right. And like you're either killing time or you're just trying to like set something up later. Mm-hmm. This one felt a lot more genuine. Yeah. And it's just like I kind of was like, yeah, I kind of like these guys a little bit more now. They're uh, they're like um. Uh, it's not like the Tweedledee Twildum. It's kind of like, you know, the, the classic two henchmen. Yeah. And they got to do their mission and stuff, that's, even though they're fucking murderers. It's literally know? me and my younger brother, Matt, whenever we're trying yeah. to lie to our mom. Exactly, man. That's, that's, it's just, it's just, that's just us. And, uh, Wait, what did we say to her? 10, 17 or 16? Uh, 17? No, no, no. 16? 16, yeah. No, my guy. 17. <laughs> that's, all, that's all our arguments. We literally uh, had an argument like that that's this past awesome. Saturday. That's fucking awesome, man. But um, um, what was the one character that you fucking hated in this film? Um, that's a good question, honestly. I have my answer, but let's hear yours. The little girl, the little girl, that fucking she was trying to be all conniving and stuff. She got away with so much. Mm-hmm. And I was like, God damn it, what's gonna happen to her? And then when something did happen to her at the end of the film, remember, yeah. she got run over by the tangerine truck. <laughs> and I've never laughed so hard before in a movie <laughs> before. Good. I was just like, yo, it's who fucking was, tangerine. Who played her again? Who played her again? Uh, something Rose or something let's like see, that. Uh, or no, Joey something. Her name is like Joey something. Joey King, I think it is. J- yep. Joey King? Yep. She's great. She's great in the movie because she plays that like, you know, spoiled brat that also is like a killer. She's like, definitely like, it gave me hardcore anime vibes. Yeah. 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 But, I, like, I, I, but I feel like calling this like an anime in real life is kind of a lazy thing to say. It's not really an anime in real life. It's just like, it's like watching a Guy Ritchie film. It's yeah. very like quick pan, like whoosh. We're going to this part. This is Brad Pitt. This is the two guys. This is like uh, the father and the little girl, uh, whatever. Like It's like moving so fast yeah. that you'll always have time to be like, oh, there's never a boring moment. No, I feel like there's <laughs> always a conversation that needs to happen at this moment. And that's why I like that you, uh, wow, you were going to town on that ginger ale. I know. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a sponsor. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Oh yeah, that's why I really like that you brought up the whole Guy Ritchie thing because yeah. I actually recent I made Matt, my brother, my younger brother Matt, mm-hmm. uh, watch the uh, the Gentleman for the first time. Oh, it's a great movie. Great movie. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, I, I don't think it would be up his alley. Mm-hmm. And he was only really watching it for me because mm-hmm. I was just there watching it, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I don't want to change it. Mm-hmm. And there was something to be on. Yeah. But then I got blackout drunk. <laughs> you got blackout. <laughs> so drunk after you put the me gentleman? to bed. <laughs> Yeah, oh, but no. after he put me to bed, like he actually finished watching it, and I was like, the next morning I'm like, uh, how was the movie? He's like, oh, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, and I was like, oh, fucking a, it's a solid film. That's what I mean too. Is like, if you're not a huge fan of the style of like Guy Ritchie movies, like Snatch, Gentlemen, or those types of movies, yeah. Bullet Train stock. might not be up your alley. No, I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that? No, no I, I think it it's it stands well, on its own. Maybe I don't know. It's been too recent. Like, when did you watch this movie? I watched this Because it's still in Monday. theaters as we're filming it. I saw this Monday. Monday. Which is... Yesterday. Yeah. Same. Holy shit. Watched it right <gasps> after work. Yeah, Cause man. Because I, I, um, I watched another movie that we're going to be filming uh, an episode on later this... Uh, not later this week. Next week. week. Next week. Yeah, yeah, next week. Yeah. Um. So I watched that because it happens to be on a streaming service. Oh, yeah. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. But, um, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, I got to spend money to watch this. So Yeah. Uh, I didn't have time on the weekend, so I went yesterday after work, and mm-hmm. I was like, "That was a fucking fun movie." Yeah, I enjoyed I'm myself. Glad we're, I'm glad we're watching good movies now. Yeah, it's the <laughs> fucking tail end of our season, right? What a way to go! <laughs> nice one. What Nevis. a way to go! Thanks a lot. <laughs> also, I wasn't expecting the post credit scene the, of um. There was a post there. You know the lemon part where it's just like he gets out of the water. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that so wasn't you, at the very end, was no, it? No, okay, no. Okay, because I'm like sitting yeah. here like, Sh- I didn't stay till no, the end. No, neither did I. I got the fuck out of there. But. Remember what I said when I was laughing really hard when she got run over by the tangerine yeah, truck? Yeah. I was like, is there going to be more to this joke? Oh, and there correct. was. And it was lemon. And you're just, she's like, that's her. I'm fucking <laughs> run over you. And she, you just, I 
was I was child laughing. murder. I was it's la- cool. I was Tell laughing. So, dude, my humor's okay. My humor's dark. I don't give a shit. Your, your humor's dark. We started the season off by making jokes about how I, ki- I elbowed a kid in the face. Oh, it's fucking hilarious, man. Oh my god, when that scene occurred and he was like so passionate, it's like I'm like fucking hit you. Who played? That was the Aaron Taylor Johnson, right? No, it was the other guy. No, the other guy, right? Yeah, I forgot oh, his name, but I loved him in this film. He was um, his performance is fucking hilarious. Where he's just like Brian all right, Tyree Henry. All right, yeah. What's his name? Brian Tyree Henry. Brian Tyree Henry, you were fucking amazing. One of my best, my favorite moments in the movie is like, all right, we gotta stop the bullet train. So he's like, okay, okay. And he's like, look, he's like, oh, it's so fucking Chinese Japanese man, <laughs> dude. Thomas the Tank Engine wasn't in Japanese. Oh shit. I'm like loving this fucking movie because Brad Pitt's like, do you know how to stop this? And like, oh yeah, yeah, I know the brace. And I was like, I don't fucking know this shit, man. <laughs> it's just like, or when the part where your just, resume and you get the job. Oh my god! Or the part where he's just like, it's it seems like it's gonna go emotional. It's like, you know what? I know I lost a bo- brother, but I think I found a new one. And Brad Pitt's like, really? And he's like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps on shooting. I'm like, damn, I love this guy. I want, I wish he was in, like, if they ever, I don't know if they would make a spinoff. I don't think they'd make a spinoff, but I think he should be a more guy. I think he should, Guy Ritchie or guy somebody Ritchie should Guy Ritchie needs to cast this guy in a fucking His movie. comedic timing, his delivery. Oh, my God. He was fantastic. He I was loved the best him. comic relief character I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, because, like, don't get me wrong. Aaron Taylor Johnson was really good, too. Yeah. But I felt like he played more of the muscular, the big guy. You yeah. Know, like, hey, I'm going to fucking kick Brad Pitt's ass. And so, I'm, I'm literally riding on a fucking bullet train. <laughs> so what, you say, what you're saying is... Brad, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson was my younger brother, Matt. And yeah. then I'm, uh, what's his name? Uh, Brian Tyree Henry. Matt's the uh, big uh, one and I'm the, so, I'm the funny one. I mean, you're kind of fit, man. I don't know. You got to compete. Thanks. I'm just saying. Oh, sit up. Grow the mustache. Grow the mustache. I feel like it, if you grow the mustache. I'm sorry. I got comfortable. You unbutton the shirt with the chest hair like Aaron Taylor Johnson. Why do you got to keep bringing up my chest hair in every episode? You know I can't grow chest hair, man. Oh, you can? No, I got like four. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like four, okay? That okay. shit don't grow, okay? And Matt looks like a – my brother Matt looks like a fucking Brillo pad. <laughs> Why do you got to bring this shit up, dog? <laughs> Fuck. Whatever. I know, I know. I saw that. I was like, yo, this is a man. (laughs) And then I'm just like, man. (laughs) I'm like, I haven't hit puberty yet. Judge me like, yo, blank canvas. (laughs) This guy said, yo, (laughs) yo, look down your shirt and spell attic. (laughs) Yo, you took TRC? (laughs) What happened Mm. to this episode, dog? (laughs) Um, I like the ending. Oh, yeah. uh, Fucking Ryan Reynolds is in it for one scene. (laughs) Because Michael Shannon was too fucking stupid to realize, wait a minute, you are not the guy. And Brad Pitt's like, do I look like fucking this guy? And he's like, oh, shit. He's like, because you know how the whole movie is like talking about fate and stuff? Luckily, it doesn't go too sentimental for that because they acknowledge it where Brad Pitt's like, that was a fucking shit deal. Like, he's like acknowledging how stupid it is, but it is kind of funny. So... Before we wrap things up, yes. we've only got like a minute and a half left. Oh, fuck, man. We just laughed half of the minutes. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> hey, it was a good episode. It was great, but man. Final, how would you rate this out of 10? I would rate it 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Yep. I'd probably give it a 7 and a half, maybe. Fucking A. As a comedy, though, 10s across the board, baby. Oh, they just got to, uh, yeah. If they <laughs> ever make a talk- director, <laughs> if they make an extended cut, they got to add more of Lemon. We gotta add more lemon. We gotta see more Thomas the Tank. We need to see his little Thomas the train. The yes. Toys, the wooden railway toys. Wait, quick question, because yeah. I think I missed it. So the flashback with the brothers, yeah. were they watching Thomas the Tank Engine? I'm pretty sure they were. <laughs> Fucking A, man. I love this movie. <laughs> yep. Like I that emotional it. scene. I gotta rewatch it too, man. Yeah, I got I'm gonna show my family this when I Fuck when yeah. I go back. Same. But uh, oh, yeah. yeah, with all that being said, like we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have you watched Bullet Train? Let us know in the comments. What did you guys think of it? Uh, don't forget to check out our Instagram and our Patreon if you want to support the channel. I just mm-hmm. realized I didn't even say the spiel at the beginning. Yeah, say it at the we're end, man. Bullet, 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 bullet train was fantastic. <laughs> See you guys next week. Peace out, y'all. Peace out.